I'm Kate, um, and I also work in the same role on the same team as Hannah. Um, Hannah manages the events and I manage the social media channels. Similarly to Hannah, my journey began 21 years ago. What happened, I don't know, but <laughs> it did. Uh, born 26th of October 1994. If anybody wants to give me a present, I'm kidding, of course. Uh, did my GCSEs, got into sixth form, did some A-levels, I did English, Media and Psychology. And throughout my time of my A-levels, I really, really enjoyed English and Media. And I had my heart set on going to university to do English and Media. So I picked a few, I picked Lancaster, UWE, Birmingham, Plymouth and Nottingham Trent. And I thought, that's my plan. That's what I'm going to do. No one's going to stop me. Got about halfway through my English A level and started studying these plays. Has anybody read them? Really good plays. I know plays can often sometimes not have the most thrilling of plots, but the one on the left, the doll's house is based in Norway and this one is based in America. That's all I can really remember about them. <laughs> Shows they were that good. Um, and even though I thoroughly enjoyed reading them, there was something that wasn't quite right about English, and I couldn't work out what it was. And it was that the teacher didn't like these plays. So I didn't like them. And being the naive 18-year-old that I was, I thought, is all English going to be like this? Am I going to go to university and not enjoy it? Not going to pay nine grand a year to not enjoy it. So it got me thinking, and I thought, what do I actually want from a university? I will warn you, this requires audience participation. <laughs> yes. Um, so obviously that relates to something I wanted from a university. Anybody know? Friends. Friends. I wanted friends. I wanted it to be friendly. <laughs> what about that one? Location. Location. I wanted it to be fairly local to my hometown, which is Bristol. I don't know if you can tell. Sometimes my accent sneaks out a little bit um, when I don't want it to. And what about that one? Quality. Quality! I wanted my education to be quality. Like I said, I didn't want to pay nine grand if the teacher wasn't enjoying what they were teaching, or the lecturer, if you like. And so, I looked at universities, I thought, what can I study that I know that I'll enjoy? So I settled on marketing, and these are sort of the local universities that have marketing courses. And my hometown being Bristol, I decided to go a little bit northern, I'm not sure if you can call it the north as such, but northern. <laughs> I had the choice between a sauce and a cheese. <laughs> and obviously I'm here today, so I went with the cheese, which is the University of Gloucestershire. <laughs> so, signed up, applied, got in, got halls. That's day one, that's me studying on day one. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I was in Cook, that's not actually Cook, but Cook's behind, so we can all imagine. <laughs> day one quickly turned into term one. And like some students, I had a few problems. This is the second bit of audience participation. Can anybody work out what problems I have due to the pictures? Finance. Finance. Um, so, like I said, day one could be turned into week one, turned into term one, and I still hadn't had my student finance through. And being somewhat of a lazy student, and sort of not very responsible yet. I thought, oh, it's nothing I've done, it's clearly their fault. Um, no, I went to the help zone to see money advice, and they told me it's because I hadn't put my national insurance number on the loan, and that's why I didn't have it. What about the second one? IT. IT. Um, not my story, thankfully, but a friend of mine in our halls, we didn't have Wi Fi. She didn't know this, racked up her phone bill to way over £50 to the extent where she wouldn't tell me what it was wrapped up to. So yeah, I think this is an ethernet cable, still not sure. Um, from some of this come from my home where I'm fortunate enough to have Wi-Fi. Didn't know what that was for, so luckily IT came and sorted that out. And what about the last one? The library. Um, I'm sorry library, but I missed my library induction for various reasons. Um, so I picked up a book, turned around, went to walk out the library, I felt like a shoplifter. <laughs> trying to steal textbooks, um, but luckily they sorted that out for me. But something I realised along the way, obviously you've got IT library and the help zone, is that they're all linked. So I could go with library problems to the library, and that actually, the bigger picture, is that if I went to the help zone and said I couldn't take a library book out, they would recommend me to go to the library. 
were all very well integrated and I think everyone in this room would know if someone had money problems where to send them or if somebody got caught trying to steal a textbook <laughs> know where to send them. So then term one turned into term two which then turned into year one which was terrifying and already not even halfway through my degree I'd already experienced CMSR, the faculty admin and the academic registrars, ICT, LIS, student services and finance and planning. So pretty intense year when you think about how much you're actually sort of exposed to. So then came back for my second year, thankfully I was allowed back in. So then this wouldn't be a presentation if someone didn't include some maths and figures. So assignments plus placement searching plus volleyball team captain plus part-time job plus volunteering equals panic. It's a lot of stuff going on in your second year and you don't really, or I didn't, really have great time management skills, something I've worked on a lot of this year. But something I did realise is that there are people on the services that can help me. I really struggle sometimes to ask for help. And there is help there. So in my current role, when students come in and talk to me, I'm like, did you know you can do this? And they're like, no. And I'm like, go, go, go do something. You know, we are here to help you. We put our students first here. And so actually, that then equaled a placement offer, two volunteering opportunities, three different part-time jobs, not at the same time, thankfully, four two one grades, five housemates, and six teammates, which made a pretty awesome year, to be honest. So some of the things I've learned from my time here as student and staff, washing up does not do itself. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, man. <laughs> the resources are there, so take advantage of them. Like I said, we are very well integrated here, and we can all recommend to students and members of staff, people we know about skills and services we can get involved in and take advantage of. Smart price cocoa pops are not worth it. I think they're about 44p a box. Don't do it. <laughs> Just do it. I, I um, actually bought some smart price cocoa pops in I think it was my first year and they were quite bad. Um, so I thought, oh I'll make these little rice crispy cakes, you know. No, don't do that either. <laughs> <laughs> Like I said, I really struggle to ask for help sometimes. I think if I face a problem and then it gets bigger and I haven't asked for help and I start to struggle and start to sort of make a mountain out of a molehill. Um, so you must ask for it if you need it. You can't expect it to appear magically. And the departments, like I've said, within the university are well linked and integrated. And that's something we should be really proud of, that we have this big network and we are all a part of it. So with that in mind, I, I pledge to always buy fairy liquid platinum to do my dishes because it really is the best. As someone who has sampled many a washing up liquid, I can give my 10 out of 10 witch value to that one. Um, to access all the resources available to me, so going into final years, so I've got scary things like dissertation and careers to think about, so student achievement and careers will be seeing a lot more of me. Um, to purchase Cocoa Pops, but only when they're on offer, um, because they are quite tasty and you should eat a balanced breakfast. Um, and to tell people when things become too much, because as my mum always said to me, a problem shared is a problem halved. And it, to encourage others to do the same, it's hard to see when you're struggling with something, but it's even harder to see when a friend or a colleague or a student that you know is struggling as well. So my future plan, I've got an internship lined up in September, so I'm really excited to start that. I'm going to work hard to get the grades I know I'm capable of. My placement year has just really affirmed to me that I do work hard and I can achieve the things I want. And I know what a literature review is now, so that will hopefully put me in good stead. <laughs> and hopefully graduate next year, that's the plan anyway. Um, I pursue a career in PR or advertising, extremely competitive industries to get into. But I think I've come from a good background, hopefully the grades will match and hopefully everything I take advantage of this year will help me to do that. And remember that a university is for life, so obviously our theme this year is integration and that we are all in this room connected, whether you want to be connected to me, that's another thing, but <laughs> we are all connected by this university and we will all be a part of this university, whether you are staff, student, uh, married to someone who works here, you know, we're all connected and that's something we should be really proud of. Thank you.